Hello, it is Hana from Communication Wise, and today I'll be speaking really shortly about how to interrupt somebody who has been speaking for a long time. So speaking for a long time is okay, right? Because it might be super interesting. It might be something that you really, really want to learn from. So it might be something that, you know, is so valuable to you that you don't want them to stop talking. But what if this is not the case? What if you get annoyed with them? What if you think that they're out of line because they're speaking for a long time? What if you think that they are selfish because they need to, you know, stop and, and let others have a turn as well? Well, those are your feelings. Those are your feelings that you have to get over in order for you to get to a place to be able to interrupt that person. So let's say, you're in a meeting and this one person is taking a long time to make their point. So what is your reason to stop them? If you are just feeling annoyed, well, that's your feeling, get over it. But if you think they've been speaking for a very long time, like we're 20 minutes in, we only have 45 minutes, this is the moment that you can raise your hand and say, thank you so much and I'm, I'm sorry for you know interrupting, it's been really valuable. I think you mentioned such and such and such. Um, and how about um, this idea that we're now gonna let other people share what they think because the more people that are creating and using their minds to come up with something um, joint, then the better this solution can be, right? So you can just say, thank you so much for sharing. Um, we've, you know, been in this meeting for 20 minutes. We have listened to you for 20 minutes. It's been super interesting. Um, but because we only have 45 minutes, um, are you okay with moving on to the next person? So with that being said, we haven't really, you know, been disrespectful. We've actually just mentioned that they've been speaking for 20 minutes that it was very valuable and that we only have 45 minutes together and that it's time to move on um, for process reasons. So what we did was we didn't say anything about that person. We didn't say anything about, you know, how we felt that they were doing. No, this was just about time. So instead of attacking that person, we're going to speak about the process. And that's exactly the reason why we started speaking up and interrupting that person. So if you feel that somebody's time is up, then check with yourself. Is this because you are annoyed? Well, then you have to do something, but you don't necessarily have to stop that person. If you think that there are very good reasons and the process might be a good reason to stop that person, then talk about that. And so we haven't attacked them, they haven't got offended, and this can be really productive because no one's got their feelings hurt. And so we can just, you know, smoothly go on with that meeting or, you know, the dinner or the car ride or wherever this was. So I'm hoping this was helpful. Let me know what you think and I'll be on here next time. Bye.